ಆಗರ್ಥಾವೇವ ಸಂಪೃಕ್ತೌ ಆಗರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತೆಯೇ ಜಗತ ಪಿತರೌ ವಂದೇ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಯುದ್ಧ ಕಾಂಡ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಘುವಂಶ ಕುಂಭಕರ್ಣಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಅಕಾಲೇ ಬೋಧಿ ಭ್ರಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ವಪ್ನೋ ವೃಥಾ ಭವಾನ್ ರಾಮೇಶು ಇವ ಅಸೌ ದೀರ್ಘ ನಿದ್ರಾಂ ಪ್ರವೇಶಿ ಕುಂಭಕರ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಡ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಅಕಾಲೇ ಬೋಧಿ ದ ವೇ ಕಾಳಿದಾಸ ಸೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ವೋಕನ್ ಅಪ್ ಎಟ್ ಅ ರಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ಹಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೋಕನ್ ಅಪ್ ಬೈ ರಾವಣ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಇದು ರಾಮ ಈಶು ಭೀಹಿ ದಿ ಬೈ ದಿ ಆರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಕುಂಭಕರ್ಣ ವೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಅ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ದೀರ್ಘ ನಿದ್ರಾಂ ಪ್ರವೇಶಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಏಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ಇತರಾಣ್ಯಪಿ ರಕ್ಷಾಂಸಿ ಪೇತುರ್ ವಾನರ ಕೋಟಿಷು ರಜಾಂಸಿ ಸಮರೋತ್ಥಾನಿ ತಕ್ಷೋಣಿತ ನದೀಷು ಇವ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಪಮಾ ದಟ್ ಕಾಳಿದಾಸ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ that is first he says itarani api rakshamsi after kumbhakarna's death the other rakshasas itarani rakshamsi the other rakshasas vanara kotishu petuhu petuhu papata petatu uh, petatu petuhu va uh, ama it is the latlakara for patati so petuhu vanara kotishu petuhu they just fell on the uh, um, uh, monkeys vanaras but the next line he says how did they fall they were like samara uthani rajamsi they were like the rajas dust that came during the battle and which fell on the uh, uh, blood rivers that chonita nadi issue now this is the literal meaning here what happened is first the rakshasas fell on the uh, monkey uh, army because they were very angry that uh, uh, kumbhakarna was dead probably he was one of the greater uh, warriors among the rakshasas right ravana's army and he was ravana's brother uh, ravana's brother is like his substitute in many ways so they he was a leader for them the moment he was dead they were so angry that they just ran and fell on to the uh, monkey army when they did that when they approached and attacked the army of monkeys they actually died so the monkeys killed the other rakshasas who came and fell or who came and attacked the monkeys now the rakshasas came and fell on the monkeys as they fell they died because they were killed by the monkeys now their blood is flowing down like a river shonita nadi shonitam is raktam the river of blood is flowing now what did they look like it was as if they adavadhu irukra edame theriyada poidradum bolliya so when when something falls and when uh, dust falls on a river it just vanishes away without even leaving a trace of where it was in the same way these rakshasas also when they fell on the monkeys they were completely lost and uh, their fierceness or their uh, attack none of this was even visible there so that's how that's why the comparison is here samara uthani rajamsi there is a great agitation among the armies and there is dust which comes about when that dust rises you think that the dust has so much power and it is just covering your eyes you get annoyed by it the so much of it but the moment it just falls on water or for, like here he says that shown it an adi issue when that dust just falls on the blood river it vanishes without a trace in the same way in the battle also as soon as uh, kumbhakarna was dead there were a lot of rakshasas who just came out in a in a uh, agitation and anger they ran towards uh, the uh, monkey armies and attacked but then it was just a momentary attack it was just a momentary thing they immediately fell down like the dust which just goes invisible is it clear so it seems like a very simple shloka 
but then the beauty of it is what you need to appreciate so itarani rakshamsi api itara rakshasaha api the other rakshasas also samarothitani samarokthani yuddha uthitani you can say yuddhe uthitani rakshamsi api tatha yuddhe uthitani rajamsi both the dust and the rakshasas uh, have risen in the battle सो युद्धत उत्तिता रजांसी परागा तेषा रक्षसा शोणित नदीषु इव रक्त प्रवाहेशु इव पेतु द वेन द डस्ट क्लैम्स अप इट हेज टू फॉल डाउन टू द ग्रउंड वेन इट फॉल डाउन इट फॉल ऑन द ब्लड फ्लो सो यू हेव टू थिंक ऑफ द क्विकने ऑफ हाउ द rakshasas were killed here they they when they attacked the monkey army there must have been so much of dust when they were running and falling on the army that dust before it could settle down it settled down only on the blood flow of the rakshasas because they were killed within that time span before the dust could even settle the rakshasas were killed their blood was also oozing out like rivers and the dust which was uh, uh, risen they, it came and fell down so the interval is only uh, uh, that dust climbing up and falling down is the interval of their fighting with the vanaras so the vanaras were quick to destroy the rakshasas na yeah. so tesham yeah. rakshas only now i understood this one <laughs> you explain <laughs> played it so well thank you <laughs> this is like a game like you, the faster you do the more points you get and <laughs> <laughs> before they could even you know the, the dust could come down their river mm. blood river was flowing so imagine the speed in which it would have happened no <laughs> yeah they were nothing Nancy. compared to the vanara sena <laughs> mm. Mm. सुषोणित नदीषु इव रक्त प्रवाहेशु इव वानर कोटिषु कोटि कैन मीन संघम और क्रोर्स ऑफ वानर यू कैन टेक इट एज अ नंबर आल्सो और ए समूह वानर कोटिषु कपि संघेशु पेतुहु निपत्य मृतानि मृतानि इज समथिंग दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम इट सो निपेतुहु दे जस्ट फेल ओके निपतन्ति स्म बहवो राक्षसाहा वानरैहि प्रयुध्य तैहि हताह दिस इज व्हाट वी अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द श्लोका तात्पर्यम इज दिस मेनी राक्षसस फॉट विद द मंकीज वानरैहि प्रयुध्य तैहि हताह दे वर किल्ड बाय द वानरस यथा परागाह निहतानां राक्षसां रक्तप्रवाहे पतित्वा विनष्टाह जस्ट इज हाउ द डस्ट Uh, 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 falls patitva after falling on the rakta pravaham the blood flow of the killed rakshasas and they become destroyed vinashtaha tatha te vinashtaha te rakshasaha api vinashtaha in the same manner they were also destroyed within minutes so it's a clearly upama alankara here so itaranya api rakshamsi petur vanara kotishu रजांसी समरोत्थान तत्षोणित नदीषु इव इज देयर एनी लाइक दीपशिका कालिदास इज देयर नो नथिंग फॉर दिस श्लोक दैट दीपशिका इटसेल्फ इज वन आई फील इट्स यू नो देयर आर सो मेनी अदर ब्यूटीफुल उपमास लाइक दिस वन इज सो नाइस हां अदा सो यू डोंट नीड टू कॉल दीपशिका इज समथिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव जस्ट uh give it a given it a hype i think <laughs> it's a nice one definitely it's a beautiful upama there are so many other i love that uragau eva the first one right when the shapam comes indra sikta boor bila magna eva uragau that is my favorite <laughs> and the very first one also is very good right? ah, yeah. nirvishta vishaya sneha nirvishta vishaya sneha yeah it's a beautiful one also right so there are so many other uh, upama which are nice mm. वानराण कोटि वानर कोटि कोटि इज एक्चुअली जस्ट नंबर आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग इफ इट हैज द मीनिंग ऑफ पिनकल ओ वानर कोटि इज आल्सो मीनिंग दैट 
top portion right so that is also there so they just fell on top of the monkeys and they just submerged they just died that's it so koti is like a dhanur agram dhanush koti solrom yeah so dhanush koti is also koti means agram so they just fell on the top of the entire uh, uh, army and they fell okay go to the next one any doubts niryayo atha paulastyaha punar yuddhaya mandirat aravanam aramam va jagad adyeti nischitah निर्यो अथ पौलस्त पुनर्युद्धा पुनः युद्धा मंदिरा पौलस्त निर्यो पुनः युद्धा अगेन टू फैट हि वॉज फैटिंग टिल नौ एंड देन हि प्रॉब्ली वेट बैक एंड देन सेंट कुंभकर्ण कुंभकर्ण वॉज डेड सो हि केम बैक दट्स द कॉन्टेक्स्ट हियर सो अथ कुंभकर्ण से वधानर इतराण राक्षसा इतरेशा राक्षसा वधान पौलस्त रावण पुनः युद्धा मंदिरा स्वंदिरा स्वभवना फ्रम हिस् पैलस हि केम औट टू फैट निर्यो हि केम औट युद्धा इन ऑर्डर टू फैट बट वाट हाउ वाट इज दटिव फॉर पौलस्त हियर रावण रावण निश्चित पौलस्त हि हेड मेड ए डेसीशन इन दिस फॉर्मैट वाट इज दट फॉर्मैट अरावण अराम व अद्य जगत जगत अद्य दिस वर्ल्ड विल बी आइदर विदउट रावण अरावण रावण शून्य और इट विल बी विदउट राम अराम दट इज इट्स हि वॉन्टेड टू हेव वन ऑन वन फैट विद राम एंड हि वॉन्टेड इट टू बी अ डेसीजन मेकर डे टूडे सो टूडे द वर्ल्ड विल आइदर हेव ओनली रावण और इट विल हेव ओनली राम इट विल बी विदउट रावण or without drama that is one of them is going to die iti nischitaha having made such a decision he mandirat he came out of his uh, bhavanam and went for uh, yuddham atha anantaram paulastyaha ravanaha adya adhuna jagat lokaha aravanam ravana shunyam aramam rama shunyam va भवेत इति निश्चितः सिंपल राइट निश्चितवान सन दट इज निश्चितः इत्युक्ते हि हैड मेड अ डिसीजन एंड देन हि लेफ्ट आउट पुनः भूयः युद्धाय मंदिरात गृहात निर्ययो निर्जगाम हि गॉट आउट ऑफ हिस हाउस सो अद्य जगत अरावणं वा अरामं वा भविष्यति इति निश्चित्य एव रावणः गृहात निरगात अगात इस लुंग लकारा फॉर गम गच्छदातु सो निरगात निरगच्छति इज योर लट लकारा निरगात वुड बी दी लुंग ओके सो यू कैन एक्सप्लेन दिस आल्सो इन अ सो लोकः माम विना अद्य भवति अथवा रावणः रामम निहत्य Uh, uh, or uh, he, um, he will he will definitely kill rama hence this world will become a rama you can may break it up into two more sentences when you explain if you want hmm? is that clear so niryayo atha polastya punar yuddhaya mandirat aravanam aramam va jagad adya iti nischitah so any doubts okay now indra provides him with a ratham and he also gives him a, 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 a horses for that ratha he will also give him a kavacham to fight ramam padati malokya lankesham cha varuthinim hari yugyam ratham tasmai prajighaya purandarah padatim ramam alokya ramam padatim alokya purandara indra ramam he looks at rama and he sees that he is like a padati padati padbhyam atati iti padati atati uh, um, meaning gachati so padbhyam eva yaha gachati rane yuddhe one who only walks that is it is a foot soldier looking at rama seeing rama to be like a foot soldier lankesham cha varuthinam and seeing lankesha 
that is lanka lankaya ishaha ravana ravana to be uh, uh, on a ratham actually varuthi is uh, uh, not a ratha but it is actually an armored person varutha is but there are two meanings one is varutha also means kavacham the other is surrounded by um, uh, varuthi uh, varuthini is an army sena protected mainly it means protected or being on a chariot both are uh, possible here okay so varutha the word itself means armor shield army um, i don't see the meaning of ratha for it so I'd probably take it as a protection that's all ratha gupti sthane ratha samriti okay ratha gupti hi varuthaha that is being protected by a chariot is called uh, being shielded by a chariot is called a varutha so lankesham cha varuthinam drishtva alokya after seeing that lankesha ravana was well protected by both an armor and a ratham a chariot purandara indra prajighaya he sent for rama tasmay ramaya hariyogyam ratham tasmay prajigaya purandara indra sent a chariot which had which was fit with horses hari yugyam hari is a horse and yugyam is that which the ratham which is capable of being um, that is it's it's a ratha which has to be led by horses yugyam iti if you look at the yoge yugaya hitam yugyam that is hari hari yugya is the an adjective for ratham that is it is fit or it is it is the best thing to be fitted with horses ha that's the meaning is there a ratham with something other than a horse can there be some other animal mm, there can be probably carts or something like that right Uh, like a bull or something uh any any other uh, it can be um pulled by gardaba also you don't know gardaba or uh, uh-huh. bulls yes right okay. yeah there can be ratham which is done by something else also yeah so padatim ramam varuthinam lankesham ravanam cha alokya i would put rama before ramam padatim alokya so rama would be your uddeshya he knows rama he is he is seeing rama as a foot soldier so ramam padatim alokya the looking at him looking at rama seeing noticing that rama is a foot soldier and noticing that ravana is a varuthi is rathi he is also uh, on a chariot so in you lankesham ravanam cha varuthinam alokya i am changing this even though it is in a different manner in the book the because the shim should be front and then the vidhe yes, should come vidhe we are in the anvaya section we can move it this way that way right so here also i should move it here ramam padatim lankesham cha varuthinam alokya okay yeah me actually varuthini kevan do you have uh... given the meaning as well protected equipped with chariot and the protective shield amma adha da sonna so varutha angarthukku vande you have the meaning of kavacha and ratha so varuthi is a person who has both okay so he is this well is like protected. a dvitiyam prakaram eva so first round is bodily armor and second round is ratha itself like an armor yes outside protection mm-hmm. सवरूथिनम रथिनम आलोक्य आलोक्य दृष्ट्वा पुरंदरह इंद्रह हरि युग्यम कपिलवर्ण अश्वम ओके आई डोंट नो व्हाई ही हैज पुट कपिलवर्णम हरि 
யூஸ்வலி இருக்கலாம் இருந்துட்டு போட்டுமே ஏதோ ஹி ஹஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் ப்ராபபிலி இட்ஸ் देयर இன் ராமாயணம் அண்ட் சோ ஹி ஹஸ் மென்ஷன்ட் இட் இன் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி கமெண்ட்ரிஸ் ஐ ஹேவ் விச் இஸ் திஸ் புக் ஹியர் ஹி சேஸ் தட் தி ஹாரி இஸ் गिवन बिकॉज दे हैव அ பே கலர்ட் தே ஹேவ் அ சர்ட்டன் கலர் ஐ டோ நோ வாட் தி பே இஸ் பி ஏ வை Oh, so that's okay. maybe why it's kapila varna or something ah okay or is it like kapila varna pashu means it's a shreshtha like the red. same na tatha reddish brown is the color bay is reddish brown so probably indra's uh, horses are reddish in color each the like surya's uh, ashwa is in green or so black reddish. sometimes dark color no no in uh, puranam it is dark in color haridashwaha harit ashwa so it is darker green in color mm, oh but where... golubam may we get and all they give seven different colors for seven mm. days adu namba puranatha porthu illa that is different adu vidgiyar color la kudupala irukum like uh, rainbow colors probably they are thinking of that but that's not the case here it is harit ashwa here it's green in color or dark colored horses Uh, more like you know surya is very bright and so uh, probably the horses have all tanned and they are dark in color being under the shadow of the sun so you know they have been darkened by surya's uh, uh, light le? so kapila varna ashwam is uh, um, yeah, probably indra's horses are reddish brown in color the hmm? chestnut color mal yeah ah there come ah So, Hari Yugyam. Hari Yugyam is Kapila Varna Ashwam. Here is uh, Ashwaha Yesmin Saha Rathaha. Kapila Varna Ashwaha Rathaha. So, this is also a Bahubrihi has been formed here. So, Yesi Rathasya Ashwaha Kapila Varna uh, Varni Yaha Vartanthi. So, Kapila Varna Ashwam Ratham Swaratham Indrasyaiva Ratham Tasmai Ramaya Ratham. பிரிகாயிங் Hari also refers to the monkey. Monkeys are brownish. Uh, mm-hmm. Illa, illa, illa. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Hari, Hari itself means uh, horse. Is horse. Also, right? Yes, Hari means uh-huh. horse. Uh, Hari cannot mean reddish color then. Hari is actually darker in color. It's Dark, more green like color, yeah. green. Uh, that is the color. So here mm-hmm. you take Hari as Ashwa and Yugyam as that which is fit to be uh it there can be other wild tied horses the, also uh-huh. so this uh-huh. uh, the ratham is fit to be tied with the horses and the uh, yeah. uh, that's how you take it hmm? yeah hmm. so then this is not chestnut brown the brown will be different this is like green color then illa ma illa ad illa hari is equal to ashwaha okay harayah ashwaha yugyaha hmm. ityukte விக்கியம் the in in the ratham wherein the horses are to be tied yeah the horse power of those horses are high so <laughs> oh, so those horses are kapila varna ashwaha probably indra's horses are uh, reddish brown in color indraha rathinaha ravanasya agrataha padacharinam sthitam ramam alokya 
Indra sees Rama who is standing on foot in front of Ravana who was on a chariot. So, Rathinaha Ravanasya Agrataha in front of Ravana, uh, Rama was standing on foot. After seeing this, Tasmai Ramaya Kapilavarnashvam Swaratham Preshayatisma. So, he sent in an, uh, his own uh, chariot which had uh, brown horses. Yuddha Maryada Manusritya Samayoreva Janyam Yuktam Iti Bhavaha. Samayo reva shobhate, yuddham samayo reva shobhate. Uh, uh, battle is, uh, 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 looks good only if it is fought between two uh, proper people. If you go to boxing and all, you have this weight category. La? It's like that. If a person in the 55 kilograms weight category cannot go and fight with the 75 kilogram category. Samayo reva shobhate. It is fit only when people of uh, similar uh, uh, um, um, uh, expertise can fight. So, Yuddha Mariyada Manusritya, following the rules of Yuddha, Samayo Reva Janyam Yuktam. Janyam is another Pariyayavachi Shabda for Yuddha. So, Janyam Yuktam. Samadhi Ralankaraha. Okay. Samadhi Sukaram Karyam Karanantara Yogataha. When something is very easily done, when another uh, karanam comes in, hmm. the uh, battle can be easily fought because Indra sends the uh, uh, ratham for uh, Rama. Yeah, so but karyam it's atra. Huh? It's interesting, Indra doesn't send it. I mean, knowing that he's in war, he doesn't give it early on. Only when he's one-on-one -on -one with Ravana, he gives his chariot. Okay. That is when it is needed. Until mm -hmm. then, he was capable of uh, killing everybody. Even Kumbhakarna mm -hmm. was an easy target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ravana is ah. one of the Jayavajaya. La. So, it's uh, an equal battle there. So, Kumbhakarna yeah. was in a more like walking mountain. So, he didn't yeah. need any Ratham. Yeah, it was easier. The others had made his job easier in, during Kumbhakarna's uh, asti. But uh, with Ravana, it was more like uh, uh, both he had to kill. Kumbhakarna also, he killed him. But then with Ravana, it was an equal. Idla, in Bhagavatam, uh, during the episode of Hiranyaksha and Hiranyakashipu, about how the, the explanation that Sridhar Swami gives in his uh, commentary is he says, just as how, uh, you know, Vishnu has a desire to create, he has a desire to, uh, you know, play with all the people in this world. So he creates this world, creates everything in this world, right? In the same way, and he also wants to take an avataram, he wants to be a manushya, he wants to be a mrigam. Every avataram is a leela for him. The same manner, once he also thought that he wanted to fight with someone, he mm -hmm. had to make some... So, if he had to fight with someone, it had to give him excitement, means he has to be on an equal ground. Mm -hmm. So, the enemy with whom he fights should be on equal ground. So, who will be on equal ground to Parmeshwara, Paramatma? So, for Vishnu, it has to be someone who is Samanam, Sarupam. Mm -hmm. So, one who has attained Sarupyam and everything. So, which is only the Jaya Vijaya, who are his Dwarapalaka, who have attained Sarupyam and Samipyam. So, they look exactly like Vishnu. They have the similar prowess that Vishnu has. So, they will be the ideal opponent. Because it will be like fighting with himself. Right? But now, he has to create a situation that they are Shatru. Now, they are Bhaktas. If they are Bhakta, they will never think of fighting against Vishnu. So, he creates a situation of Sanat Kumara or, uh, to come there and uh, they are stopping Sanat Kumara. They uh, get the curse and then they ask to be on the opposite side. That is, they want a, 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 a Dveshya Bhava and so uh, they are born as equal to Vishnu here. So, that's why Ravana in prowess and everything, he is actually equal to Rama. Because he is also an avatara of uh, Jaya Vijaya. <laughs> um, using Vaishya Bhava can more than, more easily can they attain Moksha? It's very or tough to have Dveshya Bhava. 
I know it's very tough to have. So we, that means the result can be quicker or uh, it can be compared to bhakti and uh, all, which is hard. Uh, it can no bhakti is actually an easier method. It's also a sattvika form of uh, yes, yes. De devotion. Dveshya bhavam has to be so intense so intense that your entire mind body and thoughts and everything every moment should be consumed by that uh, god in such a manner that you attain moksha you ask for him to come and take you immediately you know that's the amount of dvesha it's very easy to say that oh hatred will lead to uh, you know moksha just like hiranyaksha and hiranyakashipu no the you have to imagine the amount of uh, consumption of the soul that happened there yeah it's very hard uh -huh. yeah he was probably obsessed completely yes that obsession should be there right it can be a good obsession. Why do we have to have a dveshya bhavam there as an obsession? Let's have a you know more pleasant form. Right? Hmm. But they only it's like a drinking poison. Or... Yeah. No, no I, I was just thinking, why did they have to want uh, that they, they no no they did not drink. want. So the the reason that he gives is Vishnu himself wanted to have such a battle, so he created it. That's one way of looking at it. It's not that they wanted to have that Dveshya Bhavam towards Vishnu. Hmm. Okay. They are always, always born as demons, right? They were they never get the chance to be born again as no, you know, on the side of uh, Suraha. Uh, they only wanted Sayujim and Samipyam. So they were very happy being as Dwarabalakas there. They, they did not want to be born at all. You know? Adhutang. Ramam padati malokya lankesham cha varuthinam. Hari yugyam ratham tasmai prajighaya purandaraha. Tam adhuta dhvajapatam vyoma gangormi vayubhihi. Deva Suta Bujalam Bujalambi Jaitram Adhyasta Raghavaha Raghavaha Tam Jaitram Adhyasta Jaitram Jayashilam Ratham Tam Tam Ratham, which is Jayashilam Jaitram Jaitra Ratham Avdina, that the, the um, chariot which has always seen only victory. So that is Jaitra. <laughs> Jaitram Ratham Adhyasta. Adhyasta, he climbed onto it. So Adhi, Adhi Tishtati, uh, it governs Dvitiya, right? And not Saptami. So whatever is in Saptami Bhakti will be changed to Dvitiya. So Jaitram Adhyasta. So Raghava climbed onto that Ratham, that uh, chariot. How was the chariot? Adhuta Dvajapatam. Vyoma Ganga Urmibihi. Vayu bihi adhuta dvajapatam. Its flag was moving adhutam. It was being fanned or it was moving because of the vayu bihi, uh, because of the uh, uh, waves or the uh, wind that comes that comes from the akasha ganga. So vyoma ganga urmi vayu bihi. The, imagine the ratham is slowly coming down and it is uh, uh, moving. So it must have touched the uh, uh, Vyoma Ganga, Akasha Ganga, the waves of Akasha Ganga. And uh, those waves uh, have sent some wind along with it. And that wind is making this uh, um, dhvaja move, the flag move to show the association of the Pavitratva. It, and it, that it will definitely win. It is uh, a, a divine chariot that is coming here. And obviously, a chariot which has seen so many battles during us, Devasura Yuddham, and it has seen victory many times. Hence, uh, climbing onto that chariot, if Brahma is sure to have uh, uh, be victorious. So, uh, Vyoma Ganga Urmi Vayu Bhihi Adhuta Dhvajapatam. The uh, chariot whose Pata is actually cloth and Dvaja is the flag. So the flag cloth is being shaken, Adhutam. It is being shaken by the wind that comes from the waves, Urmi, 
of akasha ganga vyoma ganga how was rama deva suta bhuja alambi he climbed into the chariot by holding on to the hand of uh, the charioteer the divine charioteer deva suta matali matali hasta avalambi he was holding on to the hand of matali and he climbed on to the ratha just a small description to tell you idalanda you no know, in in such places my teacher would say this is not a shravya kavya this is like a drishya kavya you can see the chariot moving the the uh, flag cloth moving there and imagine that there are droplets of akasha ganga also there and then rama is holding on to matali's hand and in, he is climbing on to the ratham so it just gives you that picture in front of your eyes the way he describes it satam adhut raghavaha ramaha vyoma ganga urmi vayubhi ವ್ಯೋಮ ಆಕಾಶ ಆಕಾಶ ಗಂಗಾ ಊರ್ಮಿ ತರಂಗ ಉಪರಿ ಆಯಾತ ವಾತೈ ಸೊ ಆಕಾಶ ಗಂಗಾ ತರಂಗೋಪರಿ ಆಯಾತ ವಾತೈ ದ ವಿಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕಾಶ ಗಂಗಾ ತರಂಗ ದ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕಾಶ ಗಂಗಾ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಕಾಶ ಗಂಗಾ ಆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾರಿಯಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಶೇಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಾಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ ಆಧೂತ ಧ್ವಜ ಪಟಂ ಪ್ರಕಂಪಿತ ಪತಾಕಂ ಜೈತ್ರಂ ಜಯಶೀಲಂ ತಂ ರಥಂ ದೇವಸೂತ ಭುಜ ಆಲಂಬಿ ಮಾತಲಿ ಹಸ್ತ ಅವಲಂಬನ ಸನ್ ಅವಲಂಬಿ ರಾಮ ರಾಘವ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಟು ರಾಮ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅವಲಂಬಿ ತುಂಬ ಶೀಲಂ ಅಸ್ಯ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಚ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾತಲಿ ಅವಲಂಬಿ ಅವಲಂಬ ಅಸ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಮಾತಲಿ ಟು ಕ್ಲೈಂಬ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಾತಲಿ ಟು ಕ್ಲೈಂಬ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೈಂಬ್ ನೋ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ವಿಲ್ ಹಿ ಕ್ಲೈಂಬ್ ಇದಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ஒரு என்ன சொல்றது ரெஸ்பெக்ட் इट्स अ मार्क ऑफ ரெஸ்பெக்ட் தே கேன் கிளைம்ப் இட் இஸ் नॉट ராமா கே नॉट கிளைம்ப் ही कैन डेफिनेटली क्लाइंब ऑन टू अ चारियट इट्स नॉट समथिंग लाइक दैट ही गिव्स ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு மாதலி அண்ட் மாதலி ஆல்சோ गिव्स ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு ராமா இட் இஸ் தி क्वेश्चन ऑफ म्यूचुअल ரெஸ்பெக்ட் बिटवीन अ பிரபு அண்ட் அ சாரதி दैट्स व्हाट इट इज इट्स अ मार्क ऑफ ரெஸ்பெக்ட் ರಾಮ ಇಂದ್ರೇಣ ಪ್ರಹಿತ ಜಯಶೀಲ ರಥ ಮಾತಲಿ ಹಸ್ತ ಆಲಂಬ್ಯ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಿತವನ್ ಸೊ ರಾಮ ಕ್ಲೈಂಬ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ರಥ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟುಕ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾತಲಿ ಹಸ್ತ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇದು ಅಂದ ಆಧುನಿಕ ಧ್ವಜ ಪಟಂದ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಕೆನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಆಗಮನ ವೇಳಾ ಪವನ ಆನುಕೂಲ್ಯ ಶುಭ ಸೂಚಕ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಎನಿ ವಿಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಪವನ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಇದಿಲ್ಲ ಮೇಕ ಸಂದೇಶದಲ್ಲ ಮಂದಂ ಮಂದಂ ನುದತಿ ಪವನಶ್ಚಾನುಕೂಲೋ ಯಥಾತ್ವಂ ಯಥ ಮಂದಂ ಮಂದಂ ನುದತಿ ಪವನ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಯಥಾತ್ವ ತ್ವಾಂ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಬೀಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಅಪ್ರೋಪ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಟು ಯು ದ ಪವನ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬೀ ಸಮ್ ಬಿಗ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಬ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪುಷಸ್ ಯು ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎದುರು ಕಾತ್ ಕಡೆ ಅದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ವಿಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಪುಷಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ವಿಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನುಕೂಲ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಷಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಶುಭ ಸೂಚಕ if it is coming against you then it is a bad omen tam adhuta dhwajapatam vyoma gangormi vayubhi devasuta bujalambi jaitram adhyasta raghavah matilis tasya mahendram amamocha tanuchhadam yatrotpala dalaklaibyam astrani apuhu suradvisham so in matali he also gave a um kavacham 
tanu chada kavacha chada is something that covers tanu tanu is the body so tanu chada is a covering for the body which is a kavacham matalihi tasya mahendram tanu chadam amumocha amumocha he wore it for him that is he made him wear it so he tied it for him amumocha so tanu chadam amumocha whose uh, kavacham was that that armor belonged to indra the uh, ratham was also indra's indra's charioteer was there so indra's charioteer uh, uh, covered rama with indra's uh, uh, armor so mahendram tanu chadam tasya amumocha he put it on for him yatra in that uh, kavacham how was that kavacham the second line describes the kavacham here many arrows from, uh, that were sent by the asuras suradvisham astrani the astras that were sent by sura dvit dvit is shatru sura devas so the enemies of the devas who are the asuras tesham astrani tesham shastrani etkami pai agatam preshitam tat sarvam tu atra utpal dal klaibyam apuhu they became ineffective klaibyam is ineffective or became very soft uh, like utpala dala so when you want to hit with an arrow it has to be extremely sharp you cannot compare it to a lotus uh, petal those uh, shastras which the asura sent they were as ineffective as a petal of lotus on that armor so that armor was so protective that any astram would be rendered ineffective completely There are some words here which are used in lakshana so klaibyam here is actually kleba is napunsaka that is impotent it doesn't have the potency so the astram should have a potency it has to be effective but it has the effectiveness or ineffectiveness of a utpala dala utpala dalasya dalam petal and instead of being sharp it is very soft that's what the meaning is here matalihi indra sarathi mahendram indrena dattam tanuchadam athava indrasya mahendrasya idam mahendram indrena dattam tanuchadam kavacham tasya ramasya amamocha asajjayamas he made him wear he tied it for him yatra yasmin kavache in that kavacha that is on on that kavacham whatever astram came it was ineffective suradvisham rakshasam athava asuranam astrani the astra weapons of the rakshasas of the asuras utpala dalala klaibyam utpala dalana mardavam apuhu they attained the softness of the uh, lotus petals now the alankara here is uh, um, something called nidarshana that is nidarshana is abhavan vastu sambandha or aikyaropa padartha vritti nibandhana aikyaropam here is utpala dalasya mardavam astreshu navidyate right there is no softness of a petal in a weapon the weapon actually has tikshnata but it's it he describe he describes saying that the weapons are uh, soft like the utpala dalam you are you are trying to compare you are only trying to say the ineffectiveness but you are not saying that it is soft you are only talking about the ineffectiveness there is it clear Uh, so the aikya aropam is only the gunam that is transferred there and not a literal comparison here uh, uh, the the softness of a petal cannot be found in the astram but you are saying that that softness is there in the astram the astras attained the softness which cannot happen so it is a nidarshana here matalis tasya mahen a bhavartha matalihi indradattam kavacham ramam dharayamasa he uh, 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 made drama wear it yasminscha kavache in that kavacha rakshasaihi prayuktani sarvani astrani all of those astras which were used by the rakshasas utpala dalani iva akathorani bhavanti see this nidarshana can have the basis of upama 
So he has explained it using an upama. It is totally akathoram. It was not hard, whereas it was very soft like a petal. Well, the expression is very different. That's all. Matelis tasya mahendram amamochatanu chadam yatrotpaladala klebhyam astrani apuhu suradvisha. Okay. Um, mother, in that Indra's Kavacham, is it like a one size fits all kind of thing? Can it automatically change to the size of the wearer? Inna di buckle which is belt putter per. Ha. Put it lava. Correct. Think for ngo. Yeah. Any Kavacham will be like. Um, for a want of better thing, it's like one nighty. <laughs> Free size madri <mother> nighty. <laughs> Everybody can wear. Bullet proof or thin dial na kya? They will all be very tight. Factor ka the anna madri. So I think I'm sure there will be some. Uh, Dil la and the buckle uh, belt or the buckle madri. There should be holes there for them to tight according to their size, body size. The shoulder size, everything. Uh, the uh, life jacket, vest, uh, in uh, airplanes. So, can you use that as an example? Okay, so I'll stop with this. Agartha Vasam Prito, Agartha Pritipate, Jakatha Pitro Vande, Parvati Parameshwara.